So after last night's State of the Union and Governor Haley's Republican response, it has me wondering how this all plays out in the South Carolina primary. Here's the scenario. Donald Trump's numbers stay at around 30 percent all the way through Iowa and New Hampshire, but the field of GOP candidates dwindles to three or four ahead of the first in the South primary. So what do you think is Trump's South Carolina plan? He's the political outsider, of course. The establishment within the Republican Party picked Nikki Haley for that very reason last night. She's already voiced her opposition to Trump's ideas about banning Muslims from the U.S. Maybe Trump's team is thinking she's not that important to have on their side, pointing to her endorsement of Mitt Romney, of course, didn't uh, not stopping Gingrich from winning South Carolina the last time around. But then again, we all know the rest of that story. But what happened last night with Haley's national spotlight moment, at the least, helped set up what will be another presidential vetting process only South Carolina can bring.